Hello. I've gone for a less conventional reading for my Advent thoughts today. It comes from Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning on the first day. Not your usual carol service reading. A couple of years ago, I was staying in a small village in Zambia called Kambilombilo. It was a very rural village. There was no phone signal, no electricity, no running water. And to top it all off, I was sleeping in the boot of a car, which was um, a real blessing. One thing that I remember, though, is as the sun set and it got very dark very quick when that happened because of there being no electricity. As the sun set and you looked up into the night sky, I remember being overwhelmed by the thousands of stars that I could see. And I don't think I remember ever seeing stars like that. I was in absolute awe. Did you know that there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth? Anyone who's been to the beach and has got sand everywhere might disagree, but it is true. It is a fact. And when you look up the stars this evening, every star that you can see is bigger and brighter than our sun. Of all the one septillion stars in our universe, that's a one with 24 zeros after it. The only star that shines green is our sun. For a bit of context, if you wanted to count to one septillion, it would take you three quadrillion years. When you look into the night sky, you're looking at objects that are around 20 quadrillion miles away. And even that is only about 5% of the universe. Aside from being the only green star, our sun is fairly average among stars in both size and temperature. The famous cosmologist Carl Sagan called it a mediocre star. Although having said this, it provides us with enough energy in an hour to power the Earth for a whole year. And the light that leaves the sun takes around 10 minutes to arrive on Earth. If you wanted to go back the other way by rocket, it would take you about 70,000 years. If you were looking to travel across the Milky Way, you'd have to travel one quintillion miles. And when you got halfway, you'd be surprised to discover that it smelled like rum and tasted like raspberries because of the chemicals that are present. So why all the terrifying facts about how vast space is and what has that got to do with Christmas or, in fact, Emmanuel? You don't have to look too far into creation to see how awesome and how powerful our God is. Look at the amazing scenery, the delicate flowers, the balance that everything is held in. Creation is teeming with testimony of how great our God is. In the Old Testament, Isaiah prophesies about the coming of Jesus and he says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. The beauty of the Christmas story is not just about a baby who was born, who grew up to be a pretty cool guy, but this God who created all of these septillion stars and who knows them all by name, who created everything we see in nature and who knitted us together is with us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. God of the universe, God who threw everything into motion is also God with us. Yes, of course, he is God of the big things, but he is also God with us, God with you, God with me. So in the run up to Christmas, whatever situations you are going through, Whatever is causing stress or anxiety, however big or small, take it to him because he cares about those intricacies, because he is God with us. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for everything that you are. We thank you for everything that you've done in our lives. And Father, we thank you that you are God with us. Father, as we continue to um study your word in the run-up to Christmas over the coming days and weeks. Father, we pray that you would help us to fix our eyes on you, to focus on you. 
Father, whatever stresses or anxieties are swirling around our heads at the moment, Father, we bring them to you because we know that you are God with us. Father, when we get down and and struggle with day to day life, Father, I pray that you would remind us that you are God with us. Father, I thank you that you are the God of this awesome, vast, amazing universe, but also that you're the God of the details and the intricacies of our lives. So, Father, we just thank you for everything that you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.